everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today we're going to take a look at a beautiful 1950 Chevrolet 3100 five-window pickup truck. Great truck, guys. I bought this truck, uh, actually a show in Tennessee, but it's a South Carolina truck. Uh, bought it from an older gentleman. There's only a couple thousand miles on it, actually, since he got it done. I uh, love the color. This is, it's called Bright Orange Metallic. We've got some of the, uh, the paint for you, so that'll go with it. Uh, but it just pops, man. I'm glad we, we at least got some sun so you can see it. That's the first thing that jumped out to me was the color. I love the color of this truck. Uh, you can see it's got the louver tailgate with the uh, uh, custom roll pan. Great looking truck. They got it lowered down a little bit. Set of 18 inch boss wheels with uh, G-Force TA rubber all the way around it. Pretty truck, man. It's just got a great look to it. And it's a five window, which you guys know, those, these things are hot, man. Everybody wants these, these uh, early 50s pickup trucks. Said all brand new bezels, new grill, new Chevrolet emblem. As we go around, there's you know a few little blemishes in the paint, but it's nice, guys. This is a good truck. You can see just a little blemish in that paint. Nice. And I don't like want to. You know, the guy's always kind of critical of me saying I'm always picking the cars apart in the videos, but, you know, I want you to know exactly what you're getting. None of these things are perfect. But if you know it, if you watch our videos, I don't buy it unless it's nice. I don't buy it unless I drive it. And I love that, I uh, love this color on it. I like that five window. Uh, it's custom wood bed here. This is kind of cool if, you've, if you're if you're familiar with these That's a trap door actually for the battery a lot of times those are mounted in on the on the passenger side floorboards Which if you ever had a battery die or something um, It's a pain in the butt when you uh, when You got to change your battery. That's nice. It's got a lot. They've done that little trap door so you can get to the battery pretty easily I like the louver tailgate. It's just got a good look to it, man. Nice and straight down the sides. Love the wheels and tires he went with on this. That custom roll pan with the, uh, the brake lights down there, pretty cool. Beautiful set of boss wheels. They put the uh, diamond plate on the floor on the uh, running boards there, so if you happen to put your feet down, you don't scuff the paint. It is a subframe truck. It's got uh, power steering, and power front disc brakes. Nothing crazy underneath the hood. 350 Chevy, uh, Chevy motor, 350 automatic trans. Uh, he's got some um, a billet air cleaner and valve covers, Edelbrock 4-barrel, Edelbrock intake, stock GM exhaust manifolds, again, power steering, power front disc brakes. That uh, tube there, that's a drain, actually. That, that front cowl vent works. We'll show you that. Matter of fact, that and the side vent works. Truck's detailed nice underneath the hood. side vent works I love these trucks man they just got a great look to them man really cool lines on them door handles look good a little pitting to them but 
Again, none of these cars or trucks are perfect, guys. Interior's nice, custom leather interior. It's got power seats in it. They do work, both uh, the driver and passenger seats work. Tilt uh, column with a billet steering wheel. It's got the factory gauges. 1982 on the odometer. Um, I'll show you. It's got a cool radio. It's got a hidden radio in it, which is pretty cool. Seats are comfortable. Like I said, I drove the truck and it, it hits the road good. Good driving old truck. Um, it does have a, it's got a uh, saddle tank in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they've relocated the tank. It's not in the, um, in the uh, cab of the truck. Um, tailgate back here is functional. It's got brand new Flowmaster dual exhaust. Matter of fact, when I bought the, uh, bought the truck, it actually had single exhaust on it, um, and we ran, you can go ahead and put that up, Jay. Uh, we just ran the new duels on it. So tailgates, uh, tailgates, oh, you're, yep, it's in there. Oh. Tailgates functional. Ten bolt rear end, no crazy gear. It's like a three two three. Definitely something you get on the expressway and roll in. Trucks just got a great look, man. Seats are cool. They got the seat belts right in the uh, in the seat. Again, it's power. These work. Dash is nice. This is cool. Okay, I'll show you that. It's got a hidden uh, compartment there for the um, uh, radio. We'll have Jay fired up here. We're pitting on the door handle. Yeah, just a good run in 350, guys. Nothing crazy. Runs on pump gas. Turn the key. Go have some fun. See, cow vents functional. Put that up again, Jay. I think the might have went out of focus when it. See that works. Side vent. Jay just opened it up. I think all our gauges are working there. Gas gauge works. Gas gauge does work. Yep. It's full. Yep. We know the speedo works. Hopefully you can see that. It's bright enough. <laughs> We're not radio experts here. I know it works. We though. know the radio works. Wipers do not work. They're, I think they're still stock vacuum, so they don't work. Those front ends are a work of art, man. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. A lot of new stuff on the way. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Like us on Facebook, great way to keep track of us while we're at shows. Uh, or as always, man, pick up the phone, give my guys a call, 248-620-3355. That truck has just got a good look to it, man. Have a great day, guys.